Hi everyone, we're back. And today, you see me holding some little chairs. Most people who know me, friends, know that I love tiny chairs and I, I have a small collection of little chairs. They are emblems of friendship and hospitality and rest. And sometimes it's nice for me to just go and spend some time looking at my tiny chairs and thinking about those lovely qualities of friendship and hospitality and, and rest. I especially enjoy spending a few moments with this little chair, bear chair, because he's designed to look like a soft, cuddly teddy bear. And he has such a pleasant smile on his face. Well, friends, did you know there's a yoga posture or pose known as the chair pose? Bear chair, is it okay with you if I put you and the other little chairs down for a moment so I can demonstrate this for our friends? Yeah, it's okay. So I'm going to put these little chairs down right here on the ledge just for a moment so I can demonstrate this wonderful posture for you. You know, friends, it's interesting to me that the chair pose uh, also has another name, and that's the fierce pose. Now, you wouldn't think a chair, which is nice and welcoming and soft and comfortable, would have much to do with fierce or fierceness. But, in this pose, our body is pressed down, but our hands reach up. And it's a nice emblem for even when we're down, we're feeling pressed down. We're sad, we're worried, we're anxious. We can still reach up. The breathing that goes nicely with the chair pose is just natural breathing in through the nose, out through the lips. So when we do chair pose, we start out just standing straight and tall, our feet a little bit apart, and our hands at our sides. Then we inhale through our nose and bend our knees as though we're sitting down on a chair. And as we bend our knees, we raise our hands up and just breathe naturally. And back up and put our hands at our sides. And you can do as many repetitions of chair pose as you would like. When I do chair pose, I'm reminded of rest and friendship and I'm also reminded that when I'm down, and there have been many things this week that maybe made us sad or made us worried, I can still reach up. And I hope you'll find the same to be true for yourselves, friends. Well, Chair Bear and other chairs, thanks for joining us today. Would you like to say goodbye to our friends at home? You would? Bye, friends. Keep reaching up. Thanks, Chair Bear. Friends, I hope sometime today, tomorrow, tonight, next week, whenever, you take a moment to remember that even in times when you feel pressed down, you can still reach up. We'll see you again soon, friends. Bye-bye.